Hey guys, welcome to a behind the scenes video. So I am currently here with my brother-in-law, Brian. Hello. And we are in the Elantra. So this is Brian's vehicle. And if you've been following along on the channel, uh, the Elantra project is the one that we're working on where we're doing two JL Audio 12 TW3s, a full VXI DSP controlled amplifier system. Uh, that's going to be powering all the speakers. We're doing some component speakers, rear speaker upgrade as well. What's unique about this project is Brian and I live a few states apart. So at the beginning of this project, uh, if you've been following along, I did a 3D scan of the whole trunk area. Remember that? That was that was really cool to see. It was actually really cool. Yeah, that was my first. Like I've had exposure and used 3D scanners in the past. I've never owned my own 3D scanner, so that was a fun little process. But Anyway, what's unique about this is this is kind of the first vehicle I've done that's been all based on 3D scan data because like I said, Brian and I live a few states apart. I scanned the trunk when he was visiting one weekend and uh, you know, designed everything from there. And now it's an exciting day because we've synced up again and we're, we're actually headed to the car wash right now. Give the car a quick wash, but we're gonna find out if everything fits. In the car wash now, do you think it's gonna fit? <laughs> <laughs> now that we're getting it all cleaned, I think it's gonna fit. Yeah. What do you think of the uh, the shape and the design? Because he so he already saw the the raw material pieces that we're gonna do a test fit on. What do you think of the shape? I I really like the shape. You really outdid yourself. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I, uh, I think it looks sweet. I'm excited to add all that hexagon pattern. I'm showing you a little bit about how we plan on doing that. But uh, yeah, let's get this car clean and let's go test fit. Let's do it. All right, the moment of truth. Let's see if this enclosure fits. This is definitely the thing that I'm a little bit most concerned about just because I want to make sure this fits through the trunk opening. And uh, in the future on 3D scans, I think I'll make sure that we get the trunk opening as well, just so I can kind of articulate the enclosure in the modeling software to make sure it fits. But I think we're going to be good here. Look at that. Like a glove. What do you think, Brian? Perfect. I know that I want it spaced a little bit away from the uh, the angle of the rear seat, and that's because you know we need to have space for the the amplifier rack and all the wiring. So I think right about here is where it needs to go. So I'm gonna kind of piece things together, and I don't have the mounting hardware on yet, uh, just because I wanted to hold off and make sure everything fits good. That way, if I need to relocate any of the mounting holes or where they land and secure into the boards, I could do so. But I'm gonna use a little bit of template tape and check that out. So this is our first side piece and we'll give Brian a better shot in just a second here. Let me stick this in place. So check that out right there. I, I'll be able to push it back once this is secured with the mounting fasteners right now. I don't want to push it too much just because it's going to pop the template tape off, but that looks pretty good. Let's try the other side. Let's get this one stuck on. And I had drawn myself kind of an alignment line with everything assembled over on the workbench. So that's stuck good. That looks like that and it matches up nicely with the panel as well. Get a couple of temporary pieces on here. So this will be the piece that obviously flushes over the subwoofers and then this is going to have that hexagon pattern on it. And it's hard to get it lined up perfect here at the time being. Once we have those holes, you know, secured in, everything will be precise, but it'll look roughly like that. Put a couple of pieces on this. I don't have my center line. I put the tape on the wrong side, but no worries. We're just making sure everything's looking good here. So that'll be like that. Last pieces of template tape on this. Here is our final insert. If you guys have been following along on the design process, this is the one that covers up all the mounting hardware. That'll be held in place mostly by the uh, the material fitment once we wrap this with carpet and this with vinyl, but I'm also going to add some magnets and I'll give Brian a nice little pull tab down here so that if he does need to take this apart, just put his finger in that pull tab, pop this panel off and he'll have access to all the fasteners. All right, guys, check that out. Here we have it. Obviously, there's a bit more detail to work on the router side of things, but hey, we know everything fits now. What do you think, Brian? I'm astounded by it. <laughs> I, I I just can't wait to see it all wrapped, the hex pattern and the colors on there. Yeah, yeah. And really get that base going. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna have uh, some fun base for sure. And we were talking a little bit about the color scheme. So kind of what we're thinking is, we think we're gonna do like, so this would be carpet, the same kind of color to match, you know, the interior here, carpet, carpet, and then these two inner pieces are gonna be vinyl. I was talking about how we definitely wanna do a light color of vinyl on this piece here, because it's gonna have that hex pattern that we're going to add with the Mobile Solutions Matrix template. 
And uh, with a light color, you can really see the shadows a lot better. So it'll really make that hexagon pattern pop. But we were still talking about what color we want to do on this. And uh, we were kind of thinking blue, right? Yeah, I, I, would, I would love to have it like be as close as possible to blue as the carved paint. Yeah. Yeah, no, really I make it one cohesion piece. Yeah, I think that would look good. So we'll have to track down some uh, some good vinyl, but let us know what you guys think as well. Should we go blue on that trim ring or should we uh, do something, you know, more like elegant, I guess, that would match the interior? To me, like having the, the blue is more like kind of sporty, if you will, but it is kind of a sporty car. So I think we could go either way on that. Let's, uh, we'll ask the audience and see what they think. So the last thing we wanted to check really quick is amplifier access so the seat folds down and i just wanted to make sure that we have enough room for the amplifier rack here with this in position so it's in position right now so just a quick really simple test we can do here i cut these to the relative thickness of the amplifier stuck some template tape on them and i'm just gonna stick those you know roughly in place and i'm gonna fold this up and i just kind of want to eyeball it i know it's hard for you guys to see but i'm looking from over here and uh yeah, we're definitely gonna have more than enough room. So the, the back of the seat goes against this plane here and I can tell just from looking at it at an angle, it'll be perfect for if you need to access the, the fuse distribution block or access the amplifier, just fold the seat down and we have all that, that access area. Looks like it fits right. What'd you say, pretty cool? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's filming. <laughs> It fits. <laughs> it's Dad's new daily driver. Yeah, you're gonna steal it. Steal yes. it from Brian. Hey, your car's already done. By the way, Dad's thinking about getting a new car soon. Should we hook him up with another system? Yes. <laughs> so there we have it, guys. Thanks for tuning in to this behind the scenes video. Obviously, we know that the enclosure is gonna fit, so that is great news. We can continue with this process. Thanks for tuning in.